Maybe you remember the scene in Band of Brothers when the two soldiers easily knock out a German assault gun using the bazooka. Some say it was only good against half-tracks, light tanks or pillboxes and that the invincible Tiger tank was out of its league. However, this is not true. While Tiger tanks might have been rolling fortresses, they did have their weak points. There were a number of places that if a shot could be placed, you would either get a mobility kill or knock it out completely. The engine was the most obvious place for the shot, but the vision port was also a weak point as well as small one. While pretty effective in taking out tracks and optics, Bazookas were generally used to destroy tank only by hitting the sides or the rear. Frontal hits resulted in little damage for the tank and in the killing of the anti-tank soldiers. The earliest M1 and M1A1 models issued in June of 1942 could penetrate up to 76 mm of armor enough to destroy any German tank other than the Panzer IV, which had 80 mm of armor. The upgraded M9 and M9A1, issued in October of 1943, could penetrate 102 mm of armor, but it resulted not powerful enough to destroy Panther and Tiger tanks. There were no reports of bazooka tank kills in North Africa, but there were at least five tank kills in Sicily, including one Tiger. The claim for the Tiger was probably a hit on the driver's vision port. The weapon system, however, was unpopular among the infantry due to reliability issues, having to expose yourself to fire and the nasty backblast and the never-ending kits the army issued to fix these problems. This lack of popularity was based on army tactical doctrine which stressed firing the weapon from a standing or kneeling position in the open. Whatever the case, the American infantry tacticians came to the conclusion that bazookas could not reliably be used against heavy armor. In a letter dated May of 1944, General George S. Patton stated to a colleague that the purpose of the bazooka is not to hunt tanks offensively, but to be used as a last resort in keeping tanks from overrunning infantry. To ensure this, the range should be held to around 30 yards.